Hello, my name is Connie Canada Howard, Professor of Theater at College of DuPage, and I am delighted to be here today with President Dr. Brian Caputo. Welcome, Brian. Thank you, Connie. I'm very pleased to be here. It's truly hard to imagine that it's only been a year since you officially took the helm as the head of the college. So much has happened in this time, and I'd like to spend just a few minutes discussing some of your major accomplishments during your first year. College of DuPage had its bond rating upgraded to AAA, which is the highest possible rating from the nationally recognized Moody's Financial Agency. Can you talk about what that means for COD and our financial health? Sure. Um, so that really is a wonderful accomplishment for the college. It means essentially that when we do have to borrow money, that we'll be able to do it at a lower cost, lower interest cost. But it also reflects the fact that we are in excellent financial condition. There's a number of reasons for that. We've had some very responsible financial management at the college for quite some time. Uh, that extends into budgeting and procurement and to uh, investing in the overall execution of our financial operations. We also have a healthy fund balance, which is essentially the cash that we've got in reserve. Um, then really forward, there's a bit of a challenge. Um, we have seen our enrollment drop over the last several years. So we now have a bit of a excess of uh, expenditures over revenues. But going forward, we're looking to draw down that fund balance in a measured sort of way. That leads us right into the development of the new strategic long-range plan. Please share with us your insights how tightening up our previous plan into a more focused four-pillar plan, which will better align efforts to move the college forward. Um, yes, uh, the plan is, I think, a big step forward from where we were before. So this plan is one that is going to really focus on the big things that we are working on, that have been working on and should be working on. That is student success. That has been our centerpiece for 18 months now. Um, it includes arts, culture, and community engagement. Uh, it includes economic development. It also includes organizational culture and developing that culture to make it a, a, a College of DuPage a really uh, engaging place that's, that's positive for everyone. As you've mentioned, arts, culture, and community engagement is part of the plan and one of the four key pillars. What can you tell us about the completion of the Cleve Carney Museum of Art and the Free the Timeless exhibit? We're very thrilled that the expansion of the art gallery, now we should call it the Art Museum, uh, is complete. It adds 1,000 square feet to the, uh, to the north on uh, the, the gallery, and that is going to make the Callow experience and all of the subsequent art exhibits much more uh, meaningful. We can spread out the out more and present it in a more effective manner. We're happy about Callow coming, but that's not the only thing we're focusing on. This is just the first step in a number of exhibits that we expect to be doing of a similar scale going forward. Student success is of the utmost importance to the college. Can you tell us a bit about the special classrooms that are in development right now? Happy to do so. Um, the classrooms, there are two of them. One has um, the capacity for virtual reality and augmented reality, and that classroom is virtually finished. And then within a few months, the second classroom, which is an active learning classroom, we'll call it for now, uh, has um, a computerized whiteboards for very engaging, interactive sort of, of learning. That's coming very shortly. So we're very thrilled to have this as a complement to all the other instructional capability that we've got here at the college. Economic development in our community is an important area. Can you tell us a little bit about Project Higher Ed and how that program is supporting our students in the community? Yes, um, Project Higher Ed is essentially an earn while you learn program. It is designed to fill the gap between what some business owners in DuPage County have identified as a gap between what some students, some high school graduates possess in terms of skills and what is needed in the workplace. So it's something that the students can come to us and take their classes. Incidentally, those classes are 
almost all of it is paid for by the employer. And then the student goes back to the business that uh, has sponsored them and they work and earn a salary. So it's really a great program. COVID-19 has been an unexpected experience for all of us. Where did you see successes at the college during this unprecedented time? The college community responded extremely well to some very difficult circumstances. That includes the faculty, the staff, the students, the administrators, everyone came together to get through a just an unprecedented sort of situation, at least something that no one's seen in 100 years. In the spring semester, what we did in about March is pivoted and moved everything online relatively quickly. Then in the fall, we've got a mixture of online and hybrid. Beyond the instructional piece, there are some other things that I think are, are quite impressive that the college community has done. For one, early on in uh, when the pandemic erupted, the College donated uh, personal protective equipment to a couple of local agencies that uh, needed it to serve uh, the medical needs of the community. And then also the College of DuPage Foundation very graciously offered to sponsor a student emergency fund to help those students that were particularly struggling during this time. And there were members of the faculty, the staff, we have retirees, students themselves that were, gave very generously are there any plans you'd like to share with us that will have a vital impact over the next several years? There are a few. This I would characterize as a bit of a year of planning. Uh, we've done a lot of that to basically set ourselves up for future success. The dual credit expansion, the first I would point to, dual credit places um, college courses in our high schools, um, so that they start to get the students, the seniors mostly, get a feel for what it's like to take a college class, um, get a jump on college, and perhaps come to us. We think that's where they should be at College of DuPage. Um, also, we've completed an institutional advancement plan. Uh, the institutional advancement staff has come up with a number of strategies to gain more resources to support students better, and also to add more support to some of our academic programming. And then finally, um, the marketing and communication staff has developed a strategic plan of their own, which is really geared to try to um, help the college, the, law, the, the overall college uh, service area to understand what College of Page has to offer and uh, help them understand that we are really the best value for college that's out there. So we're looking forward to hearing more about the It's Like campaign that uh, marketing and communications are in the process of rolling out. Is there anything else you'd like to add about future plans for the college? I think so. I, I would say that this past year, by any measure, has been a challenging one. We've had a, <laughs> had a lot of things going on. Uh, we've made it through it, I think, very well. Uh, and we are I've gotten a lot of feedback over this last year from listening sessions to hot topics where folks have been able to, to interact and tell me about some of their views. Um, and I don't think folks are very shy about coming to find me when they've got an opinion to offer, and that's always welcome. Now we're going to move forward and try to try to really engage student success, try to engage arts and culture and community uh, engagement and so on to move this college forward. I think we've got a great foundation, and now we're going to act upon it. Thank you for joining me today, Dr. Caputo. I know we're all looking forward to seeing the direction you'll lead us in as we implement the strategic long-range plan in your second year. Thank you, Connie.